Hello everyone, my name is Christine. Welcome to Christine's Commentary. Use Ashley, who is the creator of this show, I want to use her point raised in this episode to sort of um, validate my point. Now, with, when they were speaking about interracial relationships, they almost seem to dismiss the fact that having bad experiences with one group of people can affect your decisions, can affect your choices. And in this case, a black woman getting so much hate and so much pain from a black man will somehow internalize that and say, you know, I've had bad experiences with black men, so I'm going to date outside. That is a very, very valid reason why black women tend to date outside it is a contributor let's not let's be honest and so as it is for women it is for men as well but when Ashley raised this point it almost seemed like that they again what they do to black women like oh somehow it's in our minds and we're just um, making things up or we're just emotional or we should get over it but no so what I'm that's why I'm gonna speak about my experience. Now I haven't been dated or you know been in a relationship, but from what I have seen and you know I have what I have been through in the sense that, you know, I, I in my community and the area I live in, I am surrounded by black men, black women. I am Nigerian, so my community is a Nigerian community, but I live in London, which is a very uh, multicultural place. But my interest is in black men, so when I, you know, do certain things to attract a mate, I am expecting a black man to, you know, um, not re- ne- necessarily re- 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 reciprocate my feeling. But, you know, pay attention and compliment me because I am trying to attract him. You know what I mean? But then it's, 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 what happens is that you get a lot of comments and a lot of, like, um, black men push their insecurities and their preferences on you. So, you know, same, some saying they prefer lighter skinned women when we know black people tend to be of a certain shade range i'm not saying black people are all have to be dark skinned but if you are from west africa like i am the the population of west africa is mostly darker skinned and then you have you do have the lighter skinned africans but they are mostly darker skinned so when men perpetrate especially men who i am interested in men who i want to settle down with say these kind of things what does that do to the psyche so to dismiss people's past experience doesn't give um doesn't give a full scope of this topic there's so many reasons why people date outside their race from some is just choice some is just preference some is just whatever but these things stem from somewhere. Your preferences stem from somewhere. So that's just what I wanted to say. So in my experience, I haven't necessarily had a man tell me I am ugly because of my skin. But it's just when they do not choose you or when they when you see the people they choose, it does affect you. If you see a guy you are interested in or a woman you're interested in, go for someone who is lighter put that woman on a pedestal allow oftentimes that woman to criticize you what does that do to your psyche their actions and their thoughts come first to choose our movement to our community if the black man isn't happy the whole community isn't happy so what this does is this gives them a sense of inflated confidence that brings me to my second point of it's a selfish decision there's no one who can tell me that you're an island we are connected we are linked your actions though they are your actions could have an effect on the community could have an effect on the people around you so when black men date outside their race and at the rate at which they are dating out
it sends a message that there's something wrong with black women and not black men because we live in a society which chooses to blame women for the actions of men i say that again we live in a society which tends to blame women for the actions of men if a man commits a crime somehow they find a way to say oh his mother was a horrible woman oh he he must have had terrible men, uh, female le- uh, mentorship when he was growing up he must have come from a single parent home there's so many reasons why which somehow link to a woman but no one ever says all right man it is your fault as a man when you committed a crime it's your fault do you get what i mean so when a man does when a man goes into an into relationship into relation interracial relationship it's more than just excuse me it's it's a selfish decision oftentimes the the interrelationships i'm speaking about the ones mentioned in this video stand from a place of selfishness to the detriment of the community so choice is one of the reasons why and then let us just to state the obvious the fact that as i said we've propped our men on a pedestal place them on a pedestal that they have become sexually attractive and desirable to other races and this smoothly transitions into my next point which is that dating is different from marriage interrelation relationships there's a lot of dating going on but then what is the statistics for marriage you know what i mean what is the statistics for marriage we're not talking about just relationships we're talking about marriage long lasting commitments what is the statistics what are the statistics for that? And I'm, I assure you, they are lower on both ends. So they are lower from black women marrying uh, non-black men and from black men marrying non-black women. They are lower when we talk about marriage because marriage is a different ball game. We see men have kids with non-black women, but do they marry them? No. We see white women non-black women settle with black men but do they marry them do they value them so when so a part of me is thinking when black men especially take charge in this oh i can date who i want i'm like that's cool of course you can date who you want i'm not gonna stop you but do you know why you are being chosen do you know why that woman returned your advances does she care about your soul does she care about what you think or does she care about your people's progress or is it just individual uh, is it just selfishness is it just me 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 just you and this woman just my progress my future is it just because she wants mixed race kids is it just because she wants to have sex with you but because you're so caught up and you choose to ignore these signs you settle in this interracial relationship. So I'm speaking to black men. Nobody, there's nothing wrong if you choose to date outside your race, but you need to evaluate the reasons why. You need to evaluate it because then you could just be a broken person going into an interracial relationship, producing broken children who then have identity crisis in the future. You're not healing. You're not getting better. You are just delaying the in in in, in uh, inevitable. In, you're gonna wake up one day and hate your life. You're gonna wake up one day and be miserable. And then what then happens is there's this backlash on black women. Like it's our fault that you dated outside your race. No, it's not. Yes, I understand. Like I said earlier, you could be hurt. By black men, you could be hurt by black women, but that is not an excuse to do what you do. And so that just wraps up this in whole interracial interracial relationship. The summary of all I'm saying is that if you choose to date outside your race, if you choose to date 
non-black people that's your choice but evaluate why you're doing it and have a discussion with yourself sit down and understand the implications of your relationship and the last thing that i feel is more important than race is culture 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 you a white man who grew up in london does not act the same way as a white man who grew up in wales or who grew up in i don't know the ukraine or who grew up in let's not even go that far who grew up in scotland ireland they do not act the same so culture should be a should be more of a factor than race i am west african i have more in common with a ghanaian than i do with an east african than i would an east african but we're all black you know what i mean so culture should be what we look at not just the person's skin color the person's race but culture and then i wanted to spend a little time on this pro-black thing that they spoke about concerning interrelation interracial relationships they said can you be pro-black and be in an interracial relationship my answer to that is no because as i said you make a choice it is a decision you make and of course you can do things that are pro-black but that doesn't make you pro-black you can support black buy black wear black speak black whatever but that doesn't make you pro-black Part of being pro-black is pro-black creation, creating black people, reproducing, sowing our seed on this earth. So if you say you are pro-black, then you should walk the walk. Now there are a lot of people who do pro-black things again, but that doesn't make you pro-black because pro-pro-black, from what I understand, is a movement. If you identify as pro-black, if you give yourself that title as a black person, as a white person, whoever you are, part of it is protecting black lives. And how do we protect black lives? Ensure that they are educated, that they do not end up in prison, that they have, they have a good future, and most importantly, create more black people and mentor them and shape them in a way that helps our community move forward. So I'm not saying mixed race kids cannot be pro-black. That's ex not what I'm saying, but as a black person, this is unique to black people. If you are black, and you say you are pro-black, part of it is producing black children. If you're struggling to understand my comparison, I would relate to Christianity. You can do all the things Christians do, but if you do not identify as a Christian, you're not a Christian. You know what I mean? You can read the Bible, you can go to church, you can do all that, but if you yourself have not said, I am a Christian, then you're not a Christian. By all means, I can say you're a Christian, your pastor can say you're a Christian, but you don't believe you're a Christian or you don't identify as a Christian. Who am I to label you as a Christian? And yes, you may be a Christian, but you're living in denial, but then that's for you to decide. That's a personal decision for you. So that's why I say if you want to be pro-black and you identify as pro black once again then part of being pro black is reproducing is creating black children strong black children to creating children that will build our nations or black nations all across the world and the last thing last thing i'm going to touch on is the reason i said i do not support pro black i do not identify as pro black the pro black movement i see online and the program that i see happening is because to me it's pro-black men when p when the black community is talking about pro-black pro-black i see them propping black men up i see black men when they've reached positions of power employed by racial women mixed women black women who of who are of a lighter skin complexion 
but somehow dark skinned women are not in the pro black movement. They ride and die with them. They support them but they're not in the movement. They're not in your videos, they're not in your in, on your posters. They you don't employ them most importantly. You don't empower them. You don't put them in places of power, places of influence. And I'm supposed to in my consciousness accept that you are pro black or ignore what the signs I see so that's just this conclusion of this video I do not edit my videos because I just speak from my mind eventually I'm going to try and reduce the times I spent on these videos cut it down streamline it I hope you enjoy these videos thank you leave comments on you know things I can improve on improve on I'm always looking to improve thank you so much for watching and stay blessed